Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Gennady Triple G Golovkin extremely close to his weigh-in weight for his upcoming Vanas Matarosin fight. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work. And now I'm back with my original series, Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew where I give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before after progress pictures, especially when they have a fight coming up. Now, it's not necessarily a fight that a lot of us expected. We were looking forward to Triple G versus Canelo, but that fight got canceled. Canelo failed two drug tests in February, and everything went downhill from that point. So Triple G had to find someone. They landed on Vanas Matarosin. He hasn't been active, hasn't fought in two years, coming off a loss to Adeslan Lada, but that was the man chosen on the late notice. Ego Weight Watcher style. Triple G weighed in at 162.9. As you guys know, Triple G is the WBC champion. He has all the belts, ex actually, except for the WBO belt. And the WBC has a clean boxing program. They also do a mandatory 30-day weigh-in and a 7-day weigh-in to make sure you're within a certain threshold of the contracted weight, which is middleweight 160. And no middleweight all belts, right? Golovkin's very close to that. It's a week out when this photo was taken that you guys seen in the thumbnail and Golovkin weighs 162.9 so he's very close he's in shape uh, it's never really been an issue for Golovkin I don't remember or recall a time where he's missed weight and Vadas Matarosin he actually weighed more which is another thing that's kind of common with Triple G they say he's a pretty small middleweight Danny Jacobs at his 30 day weigh in outweighed him etc Vanas Matarosin weighs 167.1 so both within the threshold for the seven day weigh in and it's fight week we got to get ready for this this fight is coming up at the StubHub Center close to Golovkin's base in Big Bear they're looking to bring out a, a Southern California crowd um, tickets aren't badly priced so it's an outdoor venue we'll see we'll see what Vanas Matarosin can do Obviously, this is not the initial fight that people wanted, but this is the fight they put together and this is what we're getting. Cecilia Breckis is going to be on the undercard. I'm looking forward to seeing her. Um, definitely uh, underappreciated talent in the sport of boxing. They were talking about at one point getting Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez on this card, but that's not happening. I don't think Roman is probably in, in shape and, and can be ready. So I think his, his, his date is going to get pushed back. I don't know when he's going to return. But... I will say things are getting extremely interesting for Gennady Golovkin because as you know, Daniel Jacobs just fought last night. He fought against Seleski, a guy who knocked out Hugo Centeno Jr., who just got knocked out by Jamal Charlo. I was at that fight also. That was on the Broner Vargas card. And now Jamal Charlo is the WBC mandatory for Golovkin. You have Dervinchenko, who's the IBF mandatory for Golovkin. And then Daniel Jacobs just fought Seleski and that, that fight was upgraded to an eliminator for mandatory positioning and Daniel Jacobs already gave Golovkin a tough fight I went to that fight it was in New York there was a heavy blizzard that particular week so I remember that week very well they even canceled the media day because some places were snowed in and it was going to be hard for certain media to fly in or get to the location so they just scrapped it all together but nonetheless Daniel Jacobs he keeps showing quality he just fought his third undefeated fighter in a row with the Seleski win. Seleski was he was definitely game, valiant effort, and now he became Daniel Jacobs with that win. He became a mandatory for Golovkin. So, I mean, all across the board, you got Canelo fights. You have a unification, undisputed fight with Billy Joe Saunders for the last link, the WBO belt, and then you have all these mandatories. And then you got guys like Demetrius Andrade who have who have offered to to step in and fight Golovkin so it'll be interesting beyond this Vanus Matarosin fight I don't really know many people picking Vanus to beat and upset Golovkin but we'll see he's an Olympian we'll see what he brings to the table he's currently outweighing Golovkin um he hasn't been stopped to my knowledge but you have to say this he hasn't been stopped at 154 coming off a two-year layoff and moving up in weight 
against a, a strong guy like Golovkin, that might be different. But either way, it's fight week. We will see. Let me know what you guys think. Golovkin very close to his weight. What should Golovkin do next? The IBF is talking about stripping him. I'll probably make a separate video if he doesn't, in fact, fight Dervinchenko. And I don't know if Dervinchenko, his team, Lou DiBella, I talked to his trainer, Andre Rosier. The, the interview is on the page. I don't know if they're willing to step aside. I mean, that's not really my business, but from what it sounds like from speaking with DiBella and Rosier, they want their fighter to get his opportunity. So if Golovkin beats Vonis and Canelo wants to scrap with him in a rematch that was already supposed to happen in May, in September, then Golovkin may end up losing a belt in the process if he takes the money fight with Canelo. We'll see how this all unfolds. First, he has to get past Vonis Matarosa and Ego Weight Watchers. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.